In this next video, we're going to walk you through how once your security group is created, your interfaces and appliances are added, we will then show you how you can configure the interface settings, routing information and other details on the security group just like you would do if you were using a standard gateway. OK guys, welcome back. So we've waited our six minutes. We have our uh, security group that we have created on the 172.31.100.182 IP address. We have one appliance that's a member of this group. And we've got our four interfaces, uh, ETH1 Management 1, as well as ETH1 7 and 8 and ETH2 7 and 8. Remember, those are from each of our different orchestrators. We can sign in as admin with a password of admin which we find is the default password the first time we sign in. We are then prompted to change our password as we can see we've just done here. Now we can see we're logged into our security group uh, using the SMO IP address and we can see now that the interfaces that the orchestrator assigned down to the security group are available on the security group so everything matches up uh, 107 108 207 and 208 are available as well as eth1 management one which we use to obviously transmit data as we discussed for logging and policy now we're on the security uh, the, the single management object we can add or edit or modify uh, settings on gaia just like we would do normally OK, so here we can enable interfaces, configure IP addresses, maybe do bonding, static routes. Uh, and in the example we see here, we're also adding some static ARP entries, which we need uh, due to the performance testing equipment we're going to use a little later on. You can hopefully see it's it's a really simple process. OK, um, just one example command here. We're going to use ASG monitor. We can now see that using ASG Monitor, we have a single security group with one active member. 